Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Interesting. Kahir is a pretty fun companion to try and build around. Cat, Elemental, Nightmare, Dinosaur or Beast. Still a lot of cards. Wish we could turn on like a companion filter to see what creatures in the pack fit that description. But we can take any removal spells we like. Yeah, I think I'm down. Alright, do we have any creatures that fit the description? Doesn't look like it. Elk Unicorn, it's not a beast. Can just take a pacifism. General's Enforcer, probably one of the best uh, cards in the pack. There's a dinosaur, but it's a pretty bad one. So it's between pacifism, enforcer, maybe splendor mare. Guess I'll go for pacifism. This is an elemental. So I could play the serpent with uh, Kahira, or I can take another pacifism. Tiger is a cat, although we're not going to have any humans in this deck if we're going to companion it. So, it's between pacifism and serpents. I'll just stick to pacifism. We might not companion Kahira and then... Ooh, these are both beasts. Symbiote versus Greathorn. I guess I'll go Greathorn. With Kahira we're guaranteed, if we companion it, to have a non-human to mutate onto, so mutate cards get better. And then this can potentially also help us splash, given the weird restriction. But of course we would love the symbiote as well. Bootnipper can also be a card we can play. Take a Great Horn. Even if we don't companion Kahira, Great Horn's still quite good. Well, I'll take another one. Swallow Hole would also be decent. Divine Arrow could be okay. But gotta make sure we pick up enough creatures if we want to make the strategy work. Serpents, hope to wheel one of them. There's a lot of creatures in the set that have like randomly Nightmare as a creature type. Think of the Squirrel, the 3 mana 2-2 two -two flyer. Is also a Nightmare. Well, it's a pretty late Snare Tactician. This is Elemental, but we're not gonna have a ton of ways to trigger this. Flame spill pretty late too. But this would be a pretty nice dual land to have. Although we might end up red for those f serpents anyway. In which case I'll want a flame spill. Not our snare tactician. I just have to look away. A lava serpent it is. Although, hmm. As I say that, there's a symbiote, which would be perfect with a turn 3 great horn. Yeah, probably gonna be the symbiote, and then hopefully one of those two other serpents that we passed up on earlier wheels. Elephant doesn't count. Guess I'll just take Mammoth anyway in case we don't end up companioning Kahira. Or I could take Memory League just to cycle it, but... Dinosaur, that counts. Frenzied Raptor was also an option, but we can take it here. Wow, no one's in the black-white deck, that's surprising. I think we're kind of committed now. Splash Red, hope to get those Lava Serpents. This is a cat. Do we want a 3-4 flyer with no other text? Or do we want a dual land? I think we want a dual land. This is a beast, but I might play charge. Doesn't look like we're gonna be black. Maybe it's worth speculating in case we do. But it seems like we're gonna end up... Uh, Naya. Just in case we splash black. Nightmare Pangolin. 
I guess that counts. Well, that's a dinosaur. So we can cast that. Uh, Fire Prophecy would also be good on the splash, although we might end up like pretty heavily red. Maybe we splash the white, who knows. Yeah, Godzilla seems fine. Got another dinosaur. Got two cats. This is an elemental. And then there's a Heartless Act, which we maybe could splash, but I think sticking to three colors is probably enough. Thing between all these, I like the Fertile it the most, and then hope to wheel one of these cats. Bird Beast, perfect. Fire Prophecy would also be amazing. But Beasts counts, and we already have a bit of a mutate sub theme. What do we have here? Dinosaur with mutates. This is a beast. And this is a cat ape. So that could also fit in. Lizard Beasts could also mutate for double red and get back something, although pacifism is not the best combo with it. Think I'm liking the Cloud Piercer. Yeah, I could definitely use some two drops. Hopefully we wield that two mana cats. Wolf Bear, hmm. That doesn't count. Could play a Blade Banish, could cycle the Raking Claws. <laughs> Egg. Egg's not a supported type, sadly. Impulse could be fine, but I wouldn't mind a bit of removal. This is a Mole that doesn't count. Clash of Titans could be okay, but if we're splashing the red, it's going to be pretty tough to cast. Just go for the dual ends. It's a pretty late unbreakable bond, more snare tacticians. But Sabertooth is a cat and we need two drops, so not gonna pass it up. Evolving Wilds would have been nice too. More snare tacticians. Ventosaur versus Gopher Bloods. Probably need more creatures in general. Got a bit of ramp with uh, Fertilid and the Great Horns, so having some big creatures to ramp into isn't a bad deal. Don't think this is playable even if we get a couple of those two mana one fours. Weaponize, maybe. Alright, we did wheel Garrison Cats, which I think is more important than the Tiger here since we need cheap mutate targets. We've got two Great Horns, Porky Parrot, and Cloud Piercer, which all need mutate targets. I guess solid footing, that's true. I forgot that Kahira also grants vigilance. I guess it would have been a fine trick to have more generals and forcers. So could have had a pretty nice black-white cycling deck, I guess, with two enforcers. I'll take a jungle hole in case we splash. Bird Goat doesn't count. Alright, so probably should have picked up that solid footing, but don't think we're going to miss it too much. Alright, there it is, last pick. Alright, we can play that right. Creature cards, this is a Planeswalker. Easy peasy. Alright, so we've got an interesting pile. Another parrot, perfect. Hope to wield garrison cats. So the mana base is going to be pretty ugly. Do have a couple dual lands to help, but not enough 
to go the Devil's Mana base. And then the Great Horn and Fertilids definitely help too. I think I prefer Symbiote over Ramp Through. Just need those early creatures for mutates. And for removal for big creatures, we have two pacifisms and a blade banish already. Can play the Volpikeets. I think I like Symbiote. We could also potentially be red green splash white if we have enough green uh, two drops. Yeah, I'll take another one. Find us one's not great since we don't have any humans. Raking Claws would be okay. <laughs> well, I do have a couple cyclers in the deck. How many? I guess not that many actually. I uh, guess I'll pass the Zenith Flare, fifth pick. I don't think I'm splashing Blood Curdle. Probably just take Sabretooth. I don't know, I'll just hate draft the Zenith Flare. I'll spare someone from getting killed by the Zenith Flare. Divine Arrow seems fine. A rock slide. This can also be played, but it's not going to be great in my deck. Boot nippers would have been nice with those sporky parrots, but I think it's a bit too difficult to support black. A rock slide's fine. Works well with the uh, fertilid and the uh, great horns too. Uh, tiger versus crag. I think we got there on the amount of playables, so I think I just want to improve my mana base. I think we've got enough stuff going on late. I guess this is also something we could play. I don't know, close call. Got the land anyway, luckily. Can't play Brushwag, sadly. Well, we tried to build around Kahira. I think we ended up with a playable deck. The uh, Vivian definitely helped. Let's have a look here. What are the main colors of this deck? Are we green-white, splash-reds, or are we green-red, splash-whites? Don't think this is a weaponized deck, although it does have a bit of synergy with cats. Solid footing, probably one of the first cards I'm gonna cut. Uh, did get two Sabertooths. I've got Garrison Cat as cheap, non-humans. Yeah, it looks more green-white, splash-reds. And then having these cheap cats is actually good since we want to be able to curve out and apply early pressure. And then Liger should be good too. Could maybe get away with 16 lands given the Great Horns and a couple cycling cards. So we'll take a look at the mana base in a second. Need to make three cuts. I don't think we're a go wide deck where we want coordinated charge. Alright, we need Kahira's companion, so that's one more cut. And then probably don't want a Raptor. Since it's on the splash and we have Kahira at 3 mana anyway, so... And can also mutate Great Horn a decent amount of the time. These all mutate for 3 basically, so no lack of 3 drops. Yeah, I guess this is alright. And then a removal, two pacifisms, divine arrow, blade banish, rock slide, two porky parrots. Hopefully that's enough. And then the mana base. I have one of each dual lands. Two great horns to fetch up basics and a fertilids. A little sad that we didn't end up with those uh, 
A lava serpent probably would have been better than the Ventosaur. But I guess Yudaro is kind of like a bigger lava serpent. So I'm not sure where I should add the last basic. Looking at the distribution, do have a bit more white and green. But maybe I need the fifth red source. Yeah, we do need double green for Vivian. Although single green plus great horn and fertilitz also gets me there. And we do need white early for the cats. I don't think I need more than two mountains. So between green and white, I think I'm just going for forests. So that it enables the mana fixing to get the other colors. And Naya Zoo, that's a good one. I want to keep Flame Spill for the more annoying cycling payoffs, but Stingers are actually pretty annoying too. Yeah, I might Kahira and just smash and maybe trade. Garrison Cat Cycle Idaru. Can attack and flame spill or just rock slide right now. Yudaro for the win. Ah, just a forest. All right, sweet. So this hand needs 
Ideally a plains, but I guess any third land lets me play Kahira and a Mutate Greathorn. And any third land lets me Flame Spill. So we just need a third land. Yeah, I guess a mountain would be a little awkward, but I think we only have the one mountain left in the deck. Not what we were hoping for. Well, we're running out of cards we can cast here. Discard to hand size always feels bad. Don't mind end of turn flame spill, or in their turn upkeep, I guess. Don't want to play Kahira quite yet, so it's between play Sabertooth or kill Wolverine. Got a feeling we're going to want to kill the Wolverine anyway, and on the off chance that we're keeping up uh, a counter spell here, also plays out a bit better. I guess I'll kill it now. So any on tap land would be good, because then I can cat into Great Horn. Is their hand all removal, six drops, and counter spells? Who knows? There's one six drop. Divine Arrow would line up well, but can't really afford to do nothing here, so I'm probably just gonna have to take a hit. Keep up Divine Arrow. If they don't attack, I can cycle. a good answer. I could still Great Horn Mutate just to ramp into Yidaro next turn.
basically a three mana migration path. All right, into this much open mana, we'll probably do something different. Going wide is also better for when we play Kahira. They kept the card in hand, so maybe a way to kill the Liger here. That waits. I think I'm okay chomping. Eh, am I? I guess Kahira makes this relevant again. Alright, fine. You can have your card. Land would let me Piercer plus Kahira. Cavern Whisper would be painful this turn. And it looks like we got this one. All right, on the play, fine hands. Opponent on a mulligan. And they're already down a cards since we have a companion. No essence scatters, please. All right, we're looking good. All 
All right, we did a chance. Fair and balanced. Nice, we got the 111 rank. All right, Vivian. Facing an Omori deck, this should be fun. I think I'm okay spilling that. Alternatively, I could play Kahira to the Mutate Greathorn to have a guaranteed Vivian on 5. But I also don't want them playing Omori. So, I guess now I can cast the Greathorn. And if we don't draw Forest, I can mutate Cloud Piercer to get double green. Not quite the green man I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I guess I can even discard it to the Cloud Piercer's ability here. And just get my double green that way. Do I attack? Bone probably takes it, and then I'm taking six on the way back. But I do have double pacifism. Sure. Depending on what they play, it could also be better to next turn Kahira plus, Vi plus uh, pacifism and then play Vivian with Kahira and play to buff the tokens. We'll see. Could be like a Honey Mammoth. Naturalist and Greathorn. It's not too bad. Yeah, it would be much better if we could play Vivian with a bit more board presence. They can be playing Ram through, but they could have like a Blitz Leech to maybe blow up a, a block. Um, or a Deadeye to kill my creature after damage. I think I just play Kahira. Play Symbiotes and pass. And then next turn I can Vivian if we draw land also pacifism. They might have a Sandworm here. Heat Bonder, that's fine. If they're thinking here, it might be a dead eye. Uh, black green. Any flying creatures I should be aware of? Dirge bat, I guess, but I would kill Vivian. Let's go with trample. And then pacify Omori. I don't have to. Could just hold these for maybe sandworms or other big cyclers. Would pacifying Omori let me attack with Cloud Piercer? Still not great for me. If they, let's say they do have Leech for Kahira, then maybe I don't want to pacify here. Sure. If I didn't have the second one, I would probably hold it, but... Right, they do have Leech. So I guess I'm glad I pacified. So they shouldn't be able to kill Vivian.
just keep plusing. Don't have any amazing creature to get with a minus. I call and Decoria answers. So just gotta make sure we don't deck before we kill them. Porky Parrot's a nice one. Where do we put it? The one with the symbiotes. Could put it on the Cloud Piercer and loot away a land. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it deals a bit more damage that way. How do we stack these? Discard a card, draw cards. I guess we want to search first because I don't want to draw the Sabertooth. Could also decline here if I think decking is the only way I lose, which it might be. So let's actually decline. And then this can shoot down the leech. We will adapt it. I'll just wait. Maybe next turn I can get in there. They can't have Extinction Event because they had Umori as companions, so... They're really limited in what they can do. Alright, Ponan throws in the towel. Well, Vivian's a pretty good card as it turns out. Up against a cycling deck. Once you get to five wins, it's usually all cycling from there. Is their opponent stuck on one land and they don't have any one mana cyclers? Jeez. That's rough. Ah, oh, so close. 66. Alright, Vivian, do your thing. What's even better than a turn 5 Vivian is a turn 4 Vivian. I do need double red eventually for Idara, but I'll get forest so any untapped land lets me play Vivian next turn.
All right, that's actually kind of annoying since it gets past the tokens from Vivian. Uh, deals with the Great Horn, I can't pacify it or rock slide it. So I've got like Flame Spill that kills it, or I just gotta go big with Yudaro. All right, one of the few answers here. Kahira, of course, also odds, but. Yeah, not a removal spell that doesn't do it. But I can just play Vivian now and then... Hope they can kill Kahira. If they do... It's pretty bad for me. But I'll still get to make two tokens at least. And if I draw land I get to play Yudaro too. Yeah, it's gotta be worth it. Fertile it on top. I'll go with Reach. So I wouldn't be able to play Yudaro sadly, so if they do have removal for Kahira, I guess Fertile it can block. So now I'm chumping to save Vivian. Yeah, it does got kind of ugly, but it's got to still be worth it. Symbiote on top. Now if I play the Symbiote, I wouldn't be able to Fertile it activates, which might be the preferred play, but getting free value is kind of nice. And then I can just jump with the Fertilid. And then I'll probably find a land soon. And who knows what else is on top here. Alright, so next turn I'll be able to play Yudaro. Don't think we minus Vivian, just keep plussing. I guess if they have another cheap human, but yeah, that's two mana to activate too. I guess we've got one reach. Let's go with uh, Vigilance, maybe. I call and answers. This can attack. And then I could also minus Vivian before playing Yudaro. Also, what creature would we even get? It would ideally be an odd mana cost. I guess Cloud Piercer could work. Yeah, Ventosaur 6 mana, Cloud Piercer's 5. No, my Yudaro. Alright, there goes that game plan. Can I kill them here? Let's see. 6, 10, 12. I guess I could, like, almost kill them. I guess I have the Bastion too. But still seems okay here. Pacify Coilba, kill this, send in everyone, make another token. They're probably still dead next turn. Go with Trample. I'd like you to meet my friend. Don't even have to kill the token, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, they'll gain a bit of life from Bastion. Would have to be like extinction events. Yurion. Alright. It's actually pretty good. Gets another token. Pacifism on top. So I can rock slide Yurion. And not kill them. Well, I'm gonna lose Vivian next turn to the Venture, but I guess I'm still happy killing Yurion. And then, do we even attack? If I send in everyone, they can eat a 3 3, chump Great Horn, chump 3 3. Yeah, I guess so. I guess if they reanimate Yurion, that would indeed be bad. Because if I attack with everyone, they're still forced to chump. So that's still good for me. Probably go with Trample. Alright, let's see if they're dead. They definitely put up a good fight. Don't know if they can afford to attack with Adventure here at 4 life. And the Pacifism should do it. All right, sweet. 43. Well, this deck definitely delivered. A nice clean 7-0. Let's see what uh, gems we get. Ooh, Riel. Still needed a couple of those, so... Not a bad pickup, definitely a powerful card in draft too. Probably Void Beckoner over. That's eh, kind of close. Great Horn's very good too, as we have seen in this draft. And uh, Boon of the Wishgiver, I have to admit, I've. Uh, been forced to cycle this more than I've cast it, but it's still a very good card. Fire Prophecy is kind of close with it, not sure which I prefer. Probably the Prophecy still. And Dire Tactics, probably the best card here, unless you want to force cycling. This pack is pretty awful. So let's just move on. And, uh... Yeah, could make a case for both Marshall and Mentor. Marshall definitely a nice one for the Humans deck. Making two bodies that you can maybe sacrifice or uh, pump with your various effects. Alright, that was a fun draft to reach Mythic with. Hope you guys enjoyed that one too. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.